Got some paper towels just in case. Got the cap off. All right, I'm having a hard time getting these damn little clips off. So, I don't know. I don't want to break them, but damn, they're, they're tough. So, I don't know. I got to work out something. Hold on. Oh, and then also, there's a screw right there that is a 10 millimeter, and it's a pain in the ass to get off, but... No, no fluid, so, yeah, let me, I just gotta get these off on both sides. Okay, I got them off, and damn, I got, I took the brake lines off. Be sure never to reuse the crush washers, throw those away. That's why there's new ones, so. Now I just gotta take the one off up there at the master cylinder, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna reuse those. Probably don't have to, but I'm going to. So Yeah, now I just gotta undo that one. Okay, bam. That's that. There's a crush washer here. But yep, there's the front. I have to put that way uh brake fluid doesn't drip onto the paint at all. Um be sure to uh clean surface here with a uh, paper towel. I'm going to spray some brake cleaner on there too. So I'm going to do that. I guess the other one's ready. So. tight fit up in here. Might have to loosen it just to get the damn banjo boat on, but we'll see. Alright. Now these says first and second. So I'm guessing first is going to be the right side of the bike. I think. No. The left side of the bike. Sorry. Ooh, sorry, you guys are flying all over the place. But yeah, see how one of them is a little bit longer than the other? So this one will go on to the left. This one on the right. So let's get these going. I'm going to keep it like this. That way I'll put that there. That way I don't confuse myself just in case. I'm going to clean the adhesive off these. I don't know if it matters or not, but I'm going to. There we go. Just like that. Now we just need our uh, double banjo bolt. And three crush washers. Two there. Now three. So first, we're going to put one like so. One in. Oops. Let's not scratch the paint, Nolan. And let's not scratch the paint. Two. And the third, like that, but I actually I'm a dork. I put it on upside down, but you get just that's how it's supposed to be. Three banjo or three crush washers in between the double banjo bolt. Okay. All right. Another thing I forgot to mention: these will screw in just finger tight. Now, if they don't go in, don't force them; otherwise, you'll be screwed. So. Just finger tight for right now. Then we'll uh, tighten them down later. Okay, yeah, finger tight. Just like that. Now, I gotta figure out which one is the 
which one's this one? Okay, this one's the longer one, so she goes on the right side of the bike. I'll just set her on the other side. And now, like I said, now this is where you line it up. See if you got to uh, adjust it any. And uh, I'm not too sure about this one. Maybe, maybe not. I can't really tell. So, yeah. Get it on. Alright, I had to use this, and I don't have a vise, but I got away with just using some channel locks and holding it pretty tight and turning it just a quarter turn. That way it's nice and uh, even here. A lot of play. Um, I guess that's a good thing for like whenever you're turning, obviously. And then I'm going to just go ahead and reuse these just so it doesn't like rub up against the paint and nothing like that. Wow, that went in a lot easier than they came out, that's for damn sure. Oh, bastards. Oop. I lied. There we go. Bam. Alright, that's just finger tight right now, so I'll tighten that up here in a minute. Just gotta get the other side. I think the other side needs this too, so... Let's go take a look. Alright. Where are you at? There you are. Alright, now see... Man, do I have this backwards? I probably do. Yeah, I think I do. Damn it. Hold on. Alright, I must have not. I don't know. But anyway, see how uh, this one goes. Gonna have to turn at least quarter turn to the right. So, let me see if I could show you how I do this here. How you take this guy. Put it in like this. And then I hold it real tight right here. And then this guy just turns. Well, usually. Well, I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Hold on. Okay, I got it. So that's it right there. Lines up nicely. Pretty perfect. So yeah, let's go over here. Get the last banjo bolt. Ugh. I'm glad Spiegler gives extra ban or uh, crush washers. That's pretty cool. So I'll load one of these guys on, grab another, alright, one cross washer, second cross washer, and, and again, if it fights you in threading this on, there's something wrong, so stop and don't thread it on anymore. Alright, now I just gotta find that clip, whatever I do with it. There she is. Oh, so I have paper towels everywhere. But oh well. And all this guy just clips like that. And goes on in. Cool. Now let's tighten her up. 13 foot pounds. That's what they say. So, yeah. So let's do it. Alright. Yeah, torque it up to 14 or 13, sorry. 
but I'm gonna hold the line so it doesn't move. So. like that she's on there also be sure to turn the wheel make sure you have good clearance nothing seizes up nothing like that and nothing is so let's tighten this one up now that one's gonna be kind of hard to get to so uh, if I can get a torque wrench on this thing or not I doubt it uh, no figures so I'm going to have to loosen up the master cylinder. Um, this is the final setup, I guess you could say, or as the brake lines are installed. Um, I have the front and the rear. And there's the double banjo. And uh, I kind of want to manage these a little bit better. I just don't know how, maybe like a zip tie or something right here will do that. But I think it looks really good. See, it kind of rubs on that plastic. So, I don't know. Might do a zip tie or something. But yeah, it's the final setup. Um, I will upload the video on the installing process soon. I just haven't been able to get around to it right now. But I will. So. That's that guys, and uh, like I said, I'll upload the video on the installing process, which is fairly simple if you know how to work brakes, but yeah, I think it looks sick, it looks awesome. The bike's all dusty because it's really windy today and I rode today. But yeah, and then Spiegler did an awesome job on matching the color. It's perfect, and I love the way it stand, how it stands out. Almost went with the blue just to match right here, but I was like, no, I think, I think the green is better because I'm just a sucker for lime green. So yeah, all right, thanks guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is for you.